Davis, attenzione, ancora palla buona, viene sparato via, Oba! Okay. I'm often asked why would we even consider buying Como? Why Como? If you take a look at the stadium, it's decrepit, it's falling apart. You've got a historical issue with the ownership groups that have either gone bankrupt, have disappeared, have skipped town in the middle of the night. There's a lot of things that have happened to this club. The challenge we have specifically with Como is that you've got a luxury market with working class people. You've got celebrities, high net worth individuals, but the people who actually live here and the people that work here don't necessarily reflect that. Fans that may feel that this is not their club anymore because it's become the club of the pop. <sighs> At first it was frustrating. I mean, every day you'd, you'd come in and it was a lawsuit or a complaint or somebody that hadn't been paid. It was just one thing after another. Corruption, mismanagement, lack of funds. It was very frustrating. Solo uno fuori. We've been aggressive, borderline rude in fact, to those that have come after us. We had no players on July 1st. If I sign these, we have a team. Yeah, sure, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can, can, I, can I ask what he went to jail for? Uh, hiring a getaway driver? That was the worst time in my life. Just young and stupid. I can't, I can't play the blame game. I will not, I cannot. It doesn't work for me. You want to be the guy, you want to be the man. You take the responsibility, you take the accountability, and you do your job. There really is never that point at which you, you feel comfortable taking your foot off the pedal. I'm frustrated like every other job? Yes. Do I get tired? Do I get exhausted? Do I not want to talk about it? Yeah. But would I trade it? No way. No way.